video, we're going to talk about how to use Husky to help us run commands before you push or commit your code to a repository like GitHub. For many of us who work in a team environment with many people, we want to make sure that we don't um, break anything before we push our code to the repository. So one example will be to run something like JS hints before you push your code. So, but not everyone obeys this rule. So what Husky does is it creates a hook into the commit or the push command of git. And you can define what to run when that happens. Let me show you an example. Here I have an example repository. So for the dependencies, we're going to need Husky and JS hints. JS hints is a module where you can use it to run against a JavaScript file and it will tell you what are, what's wrong with it, such as um, missing semicolons or brackets not, does not have a closing bracket. So you could define these things in the JS hints control file. I have another video where it explains this in detail. But for now, I has, I've set these up. And then in the scripts parameter of the JSON, package JSON, I have, I have this set to pre-commit. This means before you actually commit the code from command line, it will execute this command here. This, all this does is basically executing JS hints against index.js. So in our index.js, I purposely make it invalid JavaScript, as in missing a semicolon here, and this is like writing a while loop without the brackets, even though it's one line. So in JavaScript, um, it allows you to do something like that, but we really don't want that when you're coding together with someone. So JS hint will catch these things. So for now, let's let me try something. Let me add uh, a change to my file, and then remember. Oh, by the way, if you're going to do this along, you need to put this in the dev dependencies and then npm install these things. I already have them installed, so let's see what happens. So if I do git status, as you can see, this file has changes. Let me try to push my code. And then since I have it in the commit hood, whenever I do a commit, Husky will run the command JS hints against index.js. Now if it fails, which it did right here, the, the Husky won't let you push your code to GitHub. Basically, you have to fix this before you push this uh, code. Now if sometimes you're lazy, you could bypass this stage by doing dash dash no dash verify. This is really bad, but don't do this. Um, so really, there's no point. You need to fix your bug and then you commit and it will let you commit. The other option for this is pre-push. This means I can commit this file, no problem, but when I try to push it, Husky will run the command and then stop me if it fails. Now let's try to fix these problems and then see if Husky will let us push our code. So that should do it. Let's do git push. Ah, apparently we have more errors. Line 3, column 15. So JS since we set it up so that it always needs three equal signs for evaluating. Then line 16, we're missing a semicolon. Line 3, num is not declared. Then line 7, line seven. so this should fix it. Do git push. And as you can see, it succeeded in pushing the code. 
So this is really useful if you want to run things before you push. It could be anything here, you know, you don't it doesn't have to be JS hint, you could do whatever else you want to run before you commit the code. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and upload. Thank you.